Hello, I'm Johnny Ferens with Singer Agronomics, and today I'm with... Oh, I'm Rob Shortell from Agmerica. Awesome, we're here today. We're gonna to start diving in more uh, with sea kelps and some of their functions between three different stages. So we have our beginning stage, middle vegetation stage, and reproductive stage. Hey, we're here for the third part of the series. So we talked about stage one, stage two, and stage three. So the biggest key from stage two to stage three is we've already set our column and rows on our crop. Yeah, so now we have a, a yield potential to hit. Okay. We, we've got a number, and uh, now we gotta make sure we fill every single grain on that, that number. If there was a, a stage in mind, like a V, V8, V9 kind of starts that, or is it even a little later? What would you say? We like to say, it's probably a little technically, physiologically, the rows and columns are gonna be set in that six to eight range. And quite technically, the true transition from juvenile to adult when we need to worry about reproduction is gonna be VT. Okay, fair but enough. In practical standpoint, and in terms of dealing with fields, and you can see the size of this field, to do all 5,000 acres of this guy's farm, it's gonna be hard to hit every field at the perfect timing. So a good time to start is uh, right after you're, you're sure you're done with your uptake curves of those V8 timings, the row column timings. Then we start thinking and preparing for the VTs. Okay. So a V10 might be a great time to start because uh, your tassel is in the bud. It's it's getting ready to come out. Okay, so, we, so we're at that stage, you know, that V10 and on, let's say, um, sea kelp. Now, on the on the YouTube product videos and then also on our podcast that we've talked about, we still utilize a sea kelp, but there's a difference. Yes, it's absolutely. It's a very clear difference. You know, in something like a bean, we could split hairs because okay. it's, it's in all these different timings at once. It'll just keep going and going and going. But corn is a super determinant crop, meaning once it sets reproduction, it's going to reproduction or death we're really not going back in any other direction. So it's really important, particularly on corn, to switch it into the transition for reproduction now. And we wanna change our hormone profile. In the beginning, in the, the juvenile, in the baby stages, it's awesome to be cytokine and dominant and use that Ascophyllum nodosum. But as soon as we hit that VR timing, the VT timing, we are really gotta make sure we switch into an adult kelp. So we switch to a Saccharina japonica kelp at this point, and it's full of the hormones that support reproduction, ripening, finish, and dry down. So now's how when, with, when we switch to these kelps, we're able to uh, stop things like tip back, ensure there's good pollination without blanking, and uh, dare I say, stop physiological disorders like dent. Okay, so, so like in that situation, uh, Yes, sea kelps are gonna help you get you there, but if, also if you're lacking micros, it's, it's gonna be hard to correct those as well, right? So it, it, it's having both sides of that system, but with that being said, if you're already making sure stuff's in check with your tissue, yeah. this is a great way to throw that next step forward. Would you? Absolutely, would yeah. you, okay. and this will take us into that next step. And I mean, I'm not, there are trace micronutrients in, in kelps. I mean, of course there Fair are. Fair enough, a lot of points to that, but yes. But yeah, we're assuming that you are not neglecting your fertility budget. Yep. If you're seeing deficiencies in the plant, those need to be addressed and they need to be addressed immediately. You know, once we can see striping in these plants, there's already yield loss. Okay. So uh, in most of our corn growing regions, we have a limited number of growing degree days. And we really don't want to waste any of them because we have something easy to fix like a zinc deficiency or a manganese deficiency. So I assume that you are correcting your micro deficiencies. Yeah. And then yeah. you switch to the kelp, the, the saccharina japonica as the hormone package for reproductive health. Okay, so <clears throat> premier timing on that, would you say VT, I mean, until R3, R4? Or is it one of those things, if, if you were gonna do it, hit it at VT, because you know you may be going across that field with a fungicide. 
or, or even possibly insecticide if you have problems. Like, yeah, like so, mites or something yeah, late in the yeah. season. I like to do it, and a good recommendation and rule of thumb is VT. Okay. Uh, and particularly in U.S. farms and U.S. environments, VT is a really good time to target it. Um, I mean, it's going to work later. We start getting into South America. These guys are spraying corn plants, bean plants, much later than we are. But I think given our market, given uh, our agronomic practices and those fungicide passes. Well, logistics, I mean, all that stuff. Absolutely. Yes. The fungicide application is a perfect timing to add this hormone package to. Which, I mean, Singular Agronomics is, is working with Agri-America and we have products uh, it could be on a dry or liquid form, just based yeah. on you know what your logistics are and and where uh, what you need in that situation. So we went through uh, our three part series. Uh, one thing, uh, just a quick reminder: if you're interested in these products at all, uh, you can find them on the Singular website. We're partnered with Agri America uh, to help spread knowledge, but then also be able to share these products. Uh, we have dries, we have liquids, we have it for your situation and based on your logistics. Um, Robert, thank you so much for your time, and uh, please see us on the website, YouTube, uh, TikTok, Instagram. Love to see you there. Guys, thanks for watching the content so far. We've got a whole lot more on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, YouTube. Subscribe there. We put a ton of content on there that's, that's useful and have applicable information to help on your farms and day-to-day -day life. So go ahead, hop over there. If you want more information, check us out there.